The health sector in our nation is highly developed as seen by the growing number of doctors who utilize social media for health communication. It is unquestionable that social media is one of the most effective channels for staying informed since it is more user-friendly and accessible. Because the internet has altered the way we obtain knowledge, health communication via social media is efficient in teaching the public. There are three reasons for this which are information can be spread faster, easier to be accessed by the public and organization saves costs. Moving on to the body of the opinion essay, to state my first point, I use the first sign post expression which is firstly as I'm stating my first point. And for the first main point, information is able to spread faster. Supporting points, people are able to learn about the current health situation and take necessary precautions to ensure that they are in good health instead of waiting for news to be shared on screen or in newspaper which can take up to days Social media allows people to instantly gain information about anything related to health in any part of the world. This allows people to take quick actions to reduce chaos among them. However, one must be able to obtain health information from reliable sources to prevent from being scammed. With health information being easily accessible on social media, it contributes to a healthier and educated country. In addition, information is easier to be accessed by the public. Nowadays, people can use social media anywhere at any time. By spreading information such as health education on social media, people can access and read easily without the need to go to the hospital or clinic. Furthermore, most people nowadays are actively using social media. Therefore, Educating the public by using social media platforms is easier as people will read this, the information while scrolling through the social media compared to reading posters or pamphlets at the hospital or clinic. Other than that, by educating the public through social media, people will be up to date about health issues at any moment. If social media is already ingrained in society, responsible organizations should use social media as a platform for educating the public as it eases them to access the news. For the last main point, the sign post expression used is finally. And to state the main point, organizations that use social media to promote health and education to educate the public saves cost. Supporting points. This is because social media is free of charge and requires no payment. Organizations do not have to rent a hall, supply food for participants that attend the talks about health education. Instead, they are able to use applications like Google Meet and WebEx to conduct their talks. It also provides comfort to both participants and speakers as they are able to deliver and listen to speeches at their own ease. The recording provided at the end of the session allows participants to refer back to the video in case they miss out on anything. Moreover, profits gained from participation fee can be invested in more sources to educate the public on health education. Thus, when compared to physical talks, webinars that can be broadcast to social media are highly beneficial. Overall, I believe that health communication through social media is helpful in educating the public as it is efficient, easily accessed and cost-saving. Social media may provide the community with a wealth of health information. Furthermore, it provides public peer assistance in order to strengthen ties so that society's acceptance of health education might grow even further. If we use social media correctly, it may be efficient in health communication. It is beneficial not only to health organizers but also to the general public.